Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rajesh and I'm back with another video. This video is about how to install Windows 10 step by step. Also, I'll let you know why you should not use a pirated Windows. This could be very harmful for you and your sensitive data. Any free software comes with a compromise of some kind. The patches and the crack you install to crack the window can be very harmful as it is full of virus, malware and backdoor. This can allow access to the hacker to get the sensitive data of your computer. This includes sending your videos, documents, photographs, the internet access data like internet banking passwords, email and other passwords to the hackers. You should always use a genuine Windows for your safety. Nowadays, Windows keys are available really, really cheap. So I think you should consider only genuine Windows. You should always get genuine Windows for your computer as it is safe for you and your data. Nowadays, Windows keys are available really, really cheap. You should always get a genuine Windows for your safety. The benefit of getting genuine Windows is it is safe for your PC and PC data. It blocks unnecessary access from a hacker. Pirated version Windows slow down your PC. Genuine Windows doesn't require a formatting. Pirated window will crash automatically. And you get no security patches for a pirated version of Windows. Genuine Windows will always get security patches. There are more benefits for a genuine Windows. However, those are some primary benefits which I feel that you should get a genuine Windows. So let's just begin with how to install a Windows. First of all, you have to get a bootable pen drive. If in case you have internet access, you can download it. I will show how to do it. If in case you don't have a bootable pen drive option, you can visit our website and you can buy a bootable pen drive. So beginning with the bootable option. You can visit techmutunbox.com to purchase a Windows bootable pen drive. I have also shared a link in the description box below. You can click the link and go to the page and purchase a bootable pen drive from our website. If you wish to make a bootable pen drive yourself, please follow the link. So we have got the PC where we will be installing the windows and uh, so this is the bootable pen drive which we have uh, created or you can also purchase it uh, from our website as I have already shown to you. So I will be using this pen drive to install the windows and then restart the PC. We will restart the PC if in case you already have a uh, windows installed on the PC so please press F8 for ASUS motherboard and F11 for MSI motherboard. If in case you have assembled a new PC, you don't have to do this step. You can straight away insert the pen drive and it would automatically jump into the Windows installation part. So this is for those who already has a Windows installed on this SSD or a hard drive. So we got the boot selection option here. All the hard drive SSD and the pen drive will show which we have inserted in the computer. So we will be selecting our bootable pen drive here. F11 for MSI and F8 for ASUS or you can also go to the BIOS and change the boot priority from there as well. So this is what we will see at the beginning of this uh, installation. It says language to install will not touch it, we will keep it as it is. Time and currency format, we will change it to English India as, as this PC is for India. So English India is what I have selected and click next. It says install now. So I'll be clicking install now. So it says install the Windows key. You can either put the key right now or put the key later on after the installation. So I'll skip it for now and I'll add the key later on. Window Home or Pro, I'll select Pro version and then next. Okay, after that it will show the Microsoft Terms and Condition. I have to accept it and then click next. 
go to the second option custom install windows only it will show you all the drives and partitions what i'll do i'll be doing a fresh installation so i'll remove all the drives so i'll be removing all the partitions and just click select the partition and click delete if in case you have already windows installed it will show you so many partitions numbers of partition which you have made however for fresh pc it will show you like this i will just show you if in case you have a new pc it will show you ssd which is 120 gb ssd unlocated space and one terabyte hard drive which is drive to unlocated space so i'll be creating a new folder so ssd complete i'll keep for so the complete ssd would be for os and software so i'll just make the entire as a fresh drive this is our c drive it will also create some small mb files don't just delete or do anything with it keep it as it is now the second drive drive one which is our one terabyte hard drive it says unlocated space so we'll be making two partition i'll be keeping 4.5 450 so I'll be keeping keeping this much it's almost 450 GB and then second new almost 500 GB so we have drive drive 0 is SSD and drive 1 is our 1 terabyte hard drive okay now you also have to format the hard drive partitions so I've selected this and formatted and then second partition from the hard drive format. It is required if in case you don't format you have to do it later on because you will not able to see D and E drive later on once you install the windows. So I'll be selecting the SSD again 120 GB SSD and then click next. It will install all the files and it will take approx 10 to 15 minutes depending on your system and hard drive speed. So it will ask you how would you like to uh, set up so you have to select set up for personal use and then click next and then create offline account okay create offline account and then it will ask you to sign in uh, via Microsoft uh, instead select no I will ask you for the username or the pc name password if you wish to enter something just enter it if in case you want to keep it blank leave it blank and click next you want to use cortana yes accept and and some basic information how you're gonna use your pc privacy settings so it says we are getting everything ready for you it would take a moment make sure to activate the windows you need a internet connection so make sure the internet is connected now what you have to do you have to go to windows and then this setting tab and go to update and security check for update it will automatically take all the drivers which is required for the PC and the remaining you can add it later on I always recommend this option to update the driver and to activate the windows you have to go to this options windows setting update and security just above that there is an activation tab click on activation and click on change product key the key which you have purchased from techmodernbox.com or cheapokeys.com just enter the keys here and click next it would activate make sure you should have an internet connection while updating the window or entering the key because you would connect to microsoft to activate the windows i'm using a lan connection and it is connected 
Alright, so that was a quick and simple step how to install the Windows, how to download it from the Microsoft official website or if in case you cannot download, you can buy a bootable pen drive from our website techmartinbox.com. I will share the link in the description box below. Also you can get Windows 10 really cheap, just go ahead and check out the link in the description box below. I have already showed you in this video. So that's about the video, if in case you have any questions, do let me know in the comments box below, I would love to answer them. Or you can visit our website techmartinbox.com, click on contact us page and write us an email and we will reply you. And let's end the video here, thank you for watching till the end, stay happy and stay blessed, bye bye and don't forget to subscribe as it really motivates me to make some more videos for you, thank you.